Hi everybody. We decided that we were going to do another video. I know I don't usually do these every day like this, but we were decided we wanted to go ahead and talk about our salt before it's released out to the public, before uh, Forrest Fenn releases exactly where the treasure was found. By the slight chance we were right mm -hmm. and want to do it beforehand. Yeah. So Bob's going to talk a little bit about the salt. It's mostly uh, everything that he put together. So go ahead. Uh, first of all, uh, from the books, I thought uh, Forrest Finn likes steam trains. And from there, uh, I started looking and I thought Halt was the key in the poem. And uh, we, th we thought that it was where a steam train would stop. Yeah, Halt is also, you know, where a, where the steam trains would stop, but they wouldn't, it wasn't like a, a depot where they would load and unload people. So that so, fit pretty, pretty good. Right. It, it fit like a glove mm -hmm. to us. So we, in all four states, we followed where steam trains went and where any, anywhere steam trains would stop. Mm -hmm. And the one we liked the best uh, was Cumbries Pass in Colorado. It would stop up there to get water. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that became our number one solve. Yeah, the warm water for the steam train. For the steam train, mm -hmm. that, that, that was it. Um, so we spent a great deal of time searching up there. And uh, from where the train would halt, stop at Cumbries Pass, uh, if you took it down the canyon seven miles, uh, you would go from Colorado back into New Mexico, and there was a, a dirt road there. It looked like uh, private property, mm -hmm. um, but it was uh, Forest Road 121. Yeah, and that was the uh, Rancho del Oso Pardo, and it's a private hunting and fishing preserve. And when you initially look at it, it looks, it says private property and it doesn't look like a forest road. I don't even know. Is it marked right out by the street as a forest road? No, it's, but back in just a little ways, yeah. it is, uh, yeah. the Forest Service does have a sign between all the no trespassing signs. Yeah, but everything, it looks, it looks like private property. It doesn't look like you should be able to go back there. And it's, it's just kind of, just funny that the, um, you know, it says uh, Del Oso Pardo is a uh, brown bear. And that, it didn't really, it didn't really play into our solve at all, but uh, I just thought that was interesting. So from where Warm Waters Halt, we'd take it down the paved road seven miles, and then we'd get on the forest road. And if you took the forest road for six miles, you meet up with the Rio Chama River. And there's a place there, uh, it's, it's called insertion point where you could uh, put in a boat mm -hmm. into the Rio Chama River. And that put in, uh, I felt was the home of Brown, the put in uh, below the home of Brown. Uh, being Molly Brown's house up in Colorado is north of there. Um, so that's, that's where we, uh, Start started searching from there. So we and we drove. I don't know how many more miles to get to the end of one twenty seven. Is it one one twenty one? So so you would you would go back about six miles and you would cross from New Mexico back into Colorado, mm -hmm. and that's where uh, the insertion point was into the Rio Chama. And then the forest road would go one mile farther uh, there. And for me, uh, on my solve, the next mile would be into heavily forested area was no place for the meek on there. So when you came to the end of the road, it was definitely no place for the meek back there. Yeah. And uh, we would begin our hike there. Yeah. And we would hike... Uh, all over the place back there. Um, but there, there were several creeks going up the hill, uh, up the mountain uh, mm -hmm. from there. 
and we would go uh, up these creeks. And um, so th that would be our no paddle up your creek there. And uh, doing research, Forrest Finn, uh, several times before uh, the treasure search began on interviews, he had said, he had talked about his days when he was logging and he would call down trees heavy loads uh, on there. So I was convinced uh, heavy loads and water high were down trees and water high were the lakes up in the, uh, a thousand feet above where we were. Um, which, uh, if you look at the satellite view, uh, you, you can see it. It's, it's just down trees and alpine lakes up there. Mm -hmm. they, did, uh, they were doing some logging up there also. Right. Yeah. They, were, they had been doing some logging on some of the private property yeah. up there, too. Our, our search area was in uh, Rio Grande National Forest in Colorado there. Uh, so uh, we felt we had it all figured out uh, till then. Um, but uh, to be critical of our solve, nothing led us directly to the treasure. We went up these creeks uh, that might have been too difficult to carry 20 pounds with each time. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it, it, our whole time we would debate, can you do this twice in one day? Mm -hmm. Can you carry 20 pounds with you uh, each time? And it was always questionable on there. So I, I would say my, my one question there is, it didn't lead us directly to it. Yeah, uh, to the place. Yeah, we never did figure out where the blaze was. The blaze was. Yeah. We had been looking weeks for the blaze. Yeah. I found an old trail marker where, uh, you know, 50, 100 years ago, somebody had cut uh, some markings in a tree. We found a lot of things from 100 years ago where uh, people had been up there and stuff. But it was like a trail marker cut in a pine tree from about a hundred years ago. And I thought maybe that was the blaze there. Uh, but never uh, never could put two and two together yeah. on that. Um, but when whenever you come across something like that, uh, you go your your heart starts pounding. You, mm -hmm. you think you have it. I had a handheld uh pointer uh, for uh, searching for gold and it would go off if you uh, hit it on brass or bronze or something and I put it in the water a couple times and it would uh, light up and I go oh I got it <laughs> it was always uh, very exciting but then it turns out no you didn't get it yeah I mean there was like I had mentioned this in a couple of my other videos too. It's so different when you're looking on Google Maps, then you get out there and you start looking and you realize how big of an area that you're talking about. You know, we, the first time, I think the first time that we were there, we hiked for how many miles? Oh uh, yeah. You know, we hiked for a, a few miles, I want to say at least out. And, and then we're sitting thinking, you know, this is crazy because we had probably done about eight miles that whole day yeah hiking, yeah but. it was like no no he didn't hike this far with that treasure on his back or or carrying it however he carried it um he did not hike this far and uh maybe had to make two trips that's what i'm thinking he had to make you know well he says make, he had to make yeah. two trips so but i don't think that uh i'll be curious to mm -hmm. see how far he hiked because he said he was in good shape. Yeah. Uh, he was a he strong was person. Better shape than I was. Yeah, it, yeah. and uh, I, I want to say I, I was ten years younger than him, and I would put that as comparable to how he was. Yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah. So it, it will be really interesting to find out exactly uh, where the treasure was found. And oh, there was one other thing that we thought was interesting. There's a little private airport. That's right there and uh, just outside of Chama, right? Right, right. Little private airport. And if 
Forrest Fenn could actually, he could have driven there in one day and back home, but uh, the airport right there, right. he could have gone in and out of there. I, I believe him and Eric Sloan had, well, there's a beautiful waterfall back there. There's a yeah. beautiful, it's very similar to the one in Vietnam. Mm -hmm. uh, when you look at it, maybe she'll post a picture of it or two, but it's very similar to uh, the one in Vietnam or Laos. Mm -hmm. And um, I believe him and Eric Sloan had flown up there, seen it before, uh, probably landed in Chama, had lunch, but, uh, and that, that's how I believe he discovered it. I also think that Eric Sloan may have done a painting on uh, that search area that it's, we're at. It's real similar. So we, we saw a painting of Eric Sloan that uh, we believe is from that area. Yeah. But we, we could never confirm all that either. Yeah, and as close as he was to Eric Sloan, you know, it, we'll see, you know, we'll see how much of this actually, actually holds true, but I'll be very interested to find out exactly where right, the treasure right. was found. Do you want to tell the story about uh, me sneaking up behind you oh while we're searching? <laughs> and <laughs> I was, oh, I was ready. That was our last search. I that think. was our last, la last search. I <laughs> was so scared on some of the searches we did because, mind you, there's nobody else back there with us except for the bears and <laughs> the elk and, and stuff. And... I have to tell you that I was uh, really, you know, scared on some of that. So there was part of it. He's hiking up the side of this hill, this really steep hill. I did put part of that in one of my videos. Uh, I didn't catch the, this part, but I was uh, really tired. So I stayed back behind and was just sitting there on a rock. And on he, a log. On yeah, a log. A log and, yeah. and he went up ahead and then he started making these noises. I went up, I'm searching on the mountain, and about half an hour later, I came back, and there's a ravine behind where she's sitting, and I came down the ravine, and I got up within five feet behind her. She She's sitting there on the log, and I, I let out a <laughs> roar, a, a little uh, bear, yeah. a bear roar, yeah. and uh, you should have seen her jump up and it's, start. It uh, scared me so bad. Started scooting away. I, I was like hollering, Bob, 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 where are you? Yeah. <laughs> and he didn't answer me at first, you know, he started laughing and oh my God. I, I had the bear spray with me, so she couldn't spray I, me with the bear spray. I was just about ready to punch you on that one. That yeah. scared me so bad. Yeah, she wasn't real happy with no, me after no. that. But it, uh... <laughs> yeah, because it was, it, it sounded pretty real. I guess that's how my mind would work, you know, as I'm sitting there alone. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, yeah. All right. We just wanted to document our solve. Yeah. Yeah, I, I hope I'm right. You know, I, I won't feel bad about it at all. Yeah. Uh, I'll probably feel worse that, uh, you know, I was uh, completely wrong and I couldn't let go of my solve. You know, it's, it's addicting on this. Uh, there's no way I could let go of this solve. I, I felt it was right all the way through. Yeah, and, you know, he talked last video about there was some. They brought out some nuts. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, it's it's addicting where you, you, you can't let go. You know, we would go searching other places and other things, but nothing was the same as this. Yeah, you know, you couldn't get the clues to add up, but you know. Yeah, I've heard some. Some other people have left comments on my last video of, you know, where their solve was up in that area. And uh, I think there actually was a lot more people searching that area than I'm, we even realized. We only ran into Ken, yeah. one of the searchers that we met at the... Uh, and he had, he had some ama amazing search areas and yeah. ideas and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, we never really... The, the two of us... Or, or, Ken and us, we never really revealed where we were exactly searching. But he would go out in the morning and we would go out. And we met at Cumbries Pass uh, 
one time one for time. lunch. And, yeah. yeah, and he, he went by, we saw him go by and wave, you know, and then he pulled back around. And, you know, we would run into each other out there. So we were both searching out there, but uh, we never searched together. But um, I think there was a lot more people out there that we just didn't realize. Right, right. Well, uh, and that, uh, the, uh, the train was uh, a popular search area. Yeah. And Forrest being a pilot and what he wrote in the book, yeah. there's no doubt in my mind he loved steam trains. Yeah. And where he uh, would go out and. That generation yeah. uh, lo loved them. So mm -hmm. I really felt that had something to do with the solve. Yeah. And I, we'll see, see if I'm right. Yeah. Uh, who knows? I mean, I was, I was banned from even really talking in public about, <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> about it. We were up in Chama eating uh, dinner and, you know, I think I brought something up and there's, there's a, like these tables, there's a couple of tables with mints that were talking. And, you know, I started to bring something up and Bob's like, shut up, you know, <laughs> be quiet, you know. He, he's like looking around and everybody is, everybody's a possible searcher up there, so. Right, um, right. Yeah, he, uh, he kind of had to rein me in a few times on <laughs> what I would say. <laughs> so, but yeah, it, it was a lot of fun. So we just wanted to get out there and, you know, put it out there what the, our search area was. And I'll be interested if anybody else comes up with and saying that they were back in that same area. One last question. Any other areas you th thought would be possible for this? I mean, I liked Ennis. But I didn't yeah. think the treasure was there. I liked Yellowstone, but I don't yeah. think the treasure was there. Yeah. I, I really believe it well, was I there liked, in Colorado. Well, I liked Gardner, but then, you know. Yeah. I, I, I like Gardner also, but yeah. I don't think the treasure was there. There and, was one other. I liked the wedding of the waters. I didn't, when we got there, I wasn't as interested in it, though. Um, but uh, I did like the wedding of the waters because Boris Fenn said, you had to marry the clues and that's you know that was just really interesting to me yeah I, that was in wyoming wyoming was really nice mm -hmm. uh what was that city on the other side of lander uh that we went to we stayed at uh park or something like that yeah where, where the mountain man museum was oh yeah i'll have to put that I'll look it up and yeah. I'll, I'll put it in the video. Uh, you, know, you know, some of that area, yeah. slight possibility, but could never get the clues to line yeah, up. Right. You know, Kerwin was a beautiful area. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. But there are quite a few people that like that area yeah, up there, too, because, uh, you know, that's, that's just. And everybody posting their solves now is really interesting. Yeah, we've really been reading all of them. So having a lot of fun doing that. But, uh, I think that, that's, that's about it. it. Uh, we just wanted to put that out there and uh, be interested to hear from you guys. Right. Thank you. And uh, we've met a lot of great people uh, on this search yeah. and hope to see a, a party, a after search party. Yeah, uh, yeah, that would be a lot of fun if everybody get together, got together sometime. and, and uh, had a, a party. But I think that one of the things that I'd like to do from here, though, is I want to see about maybe poking around and looking for some of those bells and jars that Boris Finn hid. Yeah. I know it's kind of a long shot, but yeah. eh, you know, they're out there. So. Yeah, I don't, I, I'd like to, I'd like to look, but uh, yeah. I'm, I'm not so sure we could stumble across those. But. Yeah. Well, it'll be interesting, but if we ever, if we're ever out that way, like, you know, maybe interesting place. Right. Right. Might try and. See if we can find something. But, but I, I believe he buried those things at least three feet deep. Yeah. So there, there's no way we can find those. Yeah. I think the treasure was just uh, concealed, uh, not not absolutely buried. Yeah, so. well, we'll see. But yeah. anyways, thank you guys for watching. And uh, we will be posting our uh, other travel videos here coming up as soon as we get back out on the road. So... We'll catch up with you guys later. All right. Bye. Bye.